Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. Today we are going to discuss about another temperature sensor uh, which is thermocouple. Now in my previous two videos uh, I discussed about uh, RTD and thermistor uh, which uh, are temperature sensors based on change in resistance with surrounding temperature. Here we are going to discuss about a new type of temperature sensor which is called as thermocouple. <clears throat> so let us get started. So the first question that comes to our mind is what is a thermocouple? Now please take note that thermocouple is the widely used, popularly used temperature sensor for all purposes be it in industries or uh, for uh, 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 environmental parameters whatever thermocouple is most commonly used temperature sensor. So it is a very important concept of instrumentation and uh, electronics uh, instrumentation engineering. So please uh, listen to it very carefully. So <clears throat> the thermocouple operates on the principle of Seebeck effect. So basically what a thermocouple is, the two dissimilar metals, it consists of two dissimilar metals, different metals which are joined together at two ends to form two junctions. Okay? It consists of two dissimilar metals just like this, two dissimilar metals which are joined at one end to form a junction, they are coupled together. So this is the junction and these are the two different metals. Then they are coated with a layer of inner layer of silicon dioxide and a silver cover over it for as a protective layer. So this is a wire thermocouple, two dissimilar metallic wires which are connected to form a junction, they are coupled together. Then a protective layer of silicon dioxide and silver cover is given over it. Now, the commonly used metals which are used, the combination, the two metal wire combinations which are used for fabrication of thermocouple are copper and constantin, chromyl alumel or platinum rhodium chromyl constantin. So these are the commonly used metals the two dissimilar metallic wires, the materials which they are made of, of are these, uh, one of these. Okay? So whatever may be the material, the most commonly used metals which are used, they belong to uh, these, one of these uh, listed metals. So please you can note it down if you want. So the operating principle, so as I said, the thermocouple operate on the principle of Seebeck effect. So they have two dissimilar metals so which are joined together to form two junctions at two ends. So here a closed circuit is formed because of the formation of two junctions at two ends. Now the principle is that when the two junctions are formed and one of the junctions is heated an electric potential is developed at the junction. So because of the generation of the electric potential, a current flows in the closed circuit and that electric potential is proportional to the temperature difference between the two junctions. Okay? So whenever the two junctions are kept at different temperatures, a potential difference gets established between the two junctions. As a result of that, a current flows in the circuit. That is the main operating principle. The electric potential difference is proportional to the surrounding temperature or the temperature of the entity or object where the thermocouple uh, is used for measurement and that produces a electric current which is measured with the help of a galvanometer or an ammeter. So one of the junctions is called which is heated or placed in the region or location where the temperature is to be measured is called as the measurement junction 
and the other junction the temperature of which is kept constant the other junctions temperature is kept constant that is called as the reference junction okay here two junctions are formed okay this is the measurement junction the left hand side this is heated or it is placed in the location or region where the temperature is to be measured and the other junction is called as the reference junction this junction's temperature is kept constant for accurate measurement okay generally it is kept in an ice bath at 0 degree celsius okay this is called as the reference junction because of the heating of the measurement junction a potential difference gets established between the two junctions and as a result of that the current flows in the closed circuit this is measured with the help of our galvanometer here the voltmeter is used to measure the emf the electric potential directly you can also use an ammeter or a galvanometer for measurement of current or voltage whatever you can here we are measuring voltage you can also measure the current by installing an ammeter so this is the main operating principle so <clears throat> wh why an electric potential is actually developed it is because the concentration of the valence electrons in each metal lead okay in each of the metallic leads or wires the valence electron concentration is proportional to temperature so as there is an increase in the temperature the concentration of valence electron increases so the concentration of valence electron is directly proportional to temperature so as temperature increases the concentration of valence electrons increases and as temperature decreases the concentration of valence electrons decreases so because of the accumulation of valence electrons in each of the metallic leads one metallic lead becomes positive and the other becomes negative so they become the two ends of a voltage supply they behave like that as a result of that electric potential difference gets established just like this positive and negative polarity positive and negative polarity if you can uh, see it so as a result of that a current flows in the circuit because of the generation of the potential difference which is proportional to the temperature difference between the two junctions the potential gen, uh, difference which is generated between the two junctions is proportional to the temperature difference between the two junctions so one important thing to take note of that only one of the junctions of the thermocouple is heated while the other junction is kept the temperature of the other junction is kept constant usually it is placed in an ice bath so there has to be a mathematical relationship between the emf generated and the temperature difference between the two junctions this that relationship can be expressed as this okay the emf generated e and the temperature difference between two junctions small t which is given as the difference between the hot junction temperature and the cold junction temperature t subscript h minus t subscript c okay is given by e is equal to at plus bt square plus ct cube okay here a b and c are the thermocouple constants which depend on the type of material or the two metallic wires which are selected for uh, the fabrication of the thermocouple okay the emf e is equal to at plus bt square plus ct cube small t and that small t is equal to the difference between the hot junction and the cold junction temperatures the cold junction temperature is usually 0 degree celsius because it is kept in an ice bath the reference junction temperature so the seebeck coefficient or sensitivity of the thermocouple is given by the ratio between the emf and the temperature difference between two junctions which is equal to a plus bt plus ct square this is ct square sorry okay it's ct square not ct cube it's ct square okay it's a mistake i've done then we have is the uh the common seebeck coefficients or sensitivity of thermocouples 
which is used as one of the metallic wires or leads while the other wire is platinum. Generally one of the metallic wires is always platinum. So you can say that one of the wires of the thermocouple is fixed, it is platinum while the other metallic wire is one of the following. Okay? For bismuth, for bismuth platinum thermocouple the Seebeck coefficient is minus 72. For platinum constantan thermocouple the Seebeck coefficient is minus 35. For platinum alumel or nickel thermocouple the Seebeck coefficient is minus 15. For platinum platinum thermocouple the Seebeck coefficient make note both are same that is why the Seebeck coefficient is 0. Then for platinum aluminum uh, aluminum uh, thermocouple is 3.5, for rhodium 6, for copper 6.5, for gold 6.5. For platinum iron it is 18.5, platinum chromal it is 25 and platinum silicon it is 440. So make note that one of the metallic wires of the thermocouple, one of the wires is always platinum while the other wire, the other wire can be one of the following, okay, following less. So next uh, the concept which is the cold junction compensation. So as you know that the reference junction is always the temperature of the reference junction is always kept constant. Generally it is kept constant by placing it in an ice bath at 0 degree Celsius. This whole process or procedure is called as the process of cold junction compensation. Okay? We know that the thermocouple measures the temperature difference between the hot and cold junction. So one of the junctions is heated. Okay, always one of the junction, the measurement junction or the hot junction is heated while the reference junction or the cold junction is kept constant. The temperature of the reference or cold junction is kept constant by placing it in an, in an ice bath. So this process is called as the cold junction compensation. See here, the cold junction, the reference junction is kept in an ice bath in a container so that it is maintained, the temperature is maintained at 0 degree Celsius. Now the expression becomes now the EMF is directly proportional to the hot junction temperature okay? because as you see here the EMF is directly related with the temperature difference between the two junctions as it is 0 degree Celsius it is directly proportional to the hot junction temperature. So we get a direct relationship between the measurement junction temperature and the hot junction temperature and the generated EMF small t is equal to T subscripted or the hot junction temperature minus 0 degree Celsius which is equal to the hot junction temperature. This whole process is called as the cold junction compensation. Now <coughs> the operating temperature range of the commonly used thermocouples. Okay, so here is the list some of the commonly used thermocouples we have used four combinations for copper constantan thermocouple where the positive metal is the copper and the negative metal is constant and is from minus 200 degree Celsius to plus 350 degree Celsius. For iron constant and thermocouple the temperature is from 0 to 750 degree Celsius. For chromal aluminum thermocouple the temperature is from minus 200 to plus 1250 degree Celsius and for chromal constant and thermocouple the temperature range is from minus 200 to plus 900 degrees Celsius. So as you can see the third and fourth uh, thermocouple combination the chromal aluminum and the chromal constant and also the iron constant and they have pretty good temperature range for measurement. So depending upon the operating conditions or our requirements you can use thermocouple uh, so that it suits the uh, operating requirements. So here we have discussed uh, some of the basic concepts related to thermocouples as a temperature sensor. So in my upcoming videos I will be posting a lot about uh, various type of sensors, transducers and industrial instrumentation. So please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical, electronics and instrumentation engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.